there, it's Christina, the carriage driver here again with yet another carriage horse explainer. Today's topic is flies. Yeah, and I'm here with Tyson, who is the world's most famous fly hater. Um, so, horse people know that flies are an issue in the summertime, uh, particularly out in the countryside, um, where there are biting flies and horse flies and mosquitoes and gnats and black flies and all kinds of stuff that drive horses crazy. Horses out in fields, you know, can lose weight in the summertime from trying to avoid flies, swishing flies, kicking at flies. And of course, every country horse owner has stories about how people have, you know, called animal control or come knocked on the door about how they were terrible, terrible horse owners because their horses were blindfolded. Um, because people don't know about fly masks to keep flies out of the horse's eyes. They like to land on their eyes and eyelids and stuff like that, which is very annoying to the horse. Um, now, thankfully, here in New York, we do not have a lot of flies. Um, we're in the city. The worst flies here in New York City are actually up in the park, up by um, uh, the lake, actually. That's where it's the worst. And um, I'm recording this today because Earlier today, uh, over by Tavern on the Green, uh, me and another driver were stopped over there, and the horse, uh, the other horse, Dante, was shooing flies, as horses do. And the waitress from Tavern on the Green came out and basically accused the other driver. He says, she's like, there's something wrong with your horse. He's twitching. And I said, ma'am, that's just he's shooing flies. And she says, I don't believe that. I don't believe it's flies. You know, and so clearly, we're dealing with people here in New York City who unfortunately have never even seen horses in the country where they claim to think that horses belong. So we're going to talk a little about how horses deal with flies and what we do to help the horses cope with flies. This is Tyson over here, the spokes horse, taking a nap here in the sun. There aren't too many flies right now, plus he's gotten sprayed down with a good quality fly spray to help repel the flies off of him. Oh no, I'm scratching his chin, he's now he's going out of frame. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Tyson used to live on Mackinac Island, and he didn't stay there for very long because he hates flies more than the average horse. He hated the flies on Mackinac Island. Of course, there's nothing but flies on the Great Lakes in the summertime, so much that he actually would kick down the stall in the barn at night trying to escape the flies he hated them so much. So thankfully, he lost his job at Mackinac Island because he was miserable, and he got bought by my boss, Steve, and he now he lives in New York City where there's far fewer flies and where Steve actually plans his vacations for Tyson around fly season. You know, he sends him on vacation out to the country in the spring before the flies hatch because the worst thing would be to send Tyson on vacation in like August when there's terrible, terrible flies out in the countryside. So how do horses deal with flies? Well, like I said, we give them fly spray. We're here to spray them. Um, oh, Tyson's shooing one right now. Horses are so sensitive that they could actually feel a single fly land on them. And Tyson is famous for stopping whatever he's doing in the park, slamming on the brakes, swinging his neck around to try and get one if they land on his back. He can feel that. Um, so yeah, they have their tails. Um, I'm going to flip this around here, I think. Okay, I actually stopped the video, but because I'm... Uh, technically challenged. But anyway, uh, so how do horses deal with flies? So here's Tyson. He's got his fly spray. There's not much going on here. We're out on the street where there aren't as many flies. But first line of attack against flies are tails. Tyson's got a nice full tail uh, here in New York City. We don't braid them up or anything like that. Uh, so Tyson has full capability to swish flies if he chooses with his tail, which he does. Just have to make sure he doesn't put his tail over the lines when he does. Um, he can kick at the flies, which is another one of Tyson's favorite techniques for getting them off his tummy. He can bring that hind foot up there, kick them off his tummy. Um, or they bring their front feet up and shoo them off their chest or whatever with their front feet. And of course, that also gets any flies off their legs. Now, a lot of the animal rights people here in New York see the horse doing that, shooing flies. Well, right now they see him resting and they think his leg's broken, but he's just chilling. Uh, but they see the horse shooing flies, stomping at flies, and they claim that it's because the horse's legs hurt. 
That's not true at all. They're just shooing flies. Horses also have their manes. They can shake their head. Their mane flies around. They can um, get the flies off that way. Their ears swivel and flop around when they shake their heads. Get the flies off that way. And they can also twitch their skin up here on their shoulders where they uh, um, can't really reach so well with their, with their neck, with their mouth and reaching around. Their mane doesn't reach it. Their tail doesn't reach it. Their feet don't reach it. They can swish flies here. I'm going to try and convince Tyson that I'm a fly. I may not be. Oh, there, look, he's shaking. Yeah, he did it himself. There is a little gnat that just landed on him. Let me see if I can get him to do it. See, look. You know, that little twitchy motion, they can um, shoo flies off that way. And that's what this ignorant waitress at Tavern on the Green was seeing the other horse doing, was using these wonderful techniques that horses have developed over millennia to shoo these obnoxious flies. And she was convinced there was something wrong with the horse, that he was shaking with exhaustion or whatever. It's like, nope, it's just flies, and I don't care how much you don't believe that it's flies. That's what our horses are doing when they're stamping, swishing, shaking their heads, and twitching their skin, which is, like I said, this awesome, awesome adaptation they have to shoo flies in a place they can't reach. No, I don't have you fooled yet. <laughs> You're a good boy, Tyson. Aren't you? I know, not many flies right now, which is awesome. So, there you have it. That's another video from Christina, the carriage driver, explaining to you guys flies. So until next time, when somebody says something silly about horses and I'll have to educate you guys, I'll sign off. <laughs>